Hey everyone, Linda aka The Gamer Girl here, and today we're gonna start now with the PS1 collection. It's a little bit smaller than some of my collections, but still deserves a little bit of love. First off is a classic, Qbert. Next is Frogger, followed by Frogger 2. Then we have Croc, then Spyro the Dragon. Next one on the list is funny. Spice World. I just got it because I had it when I was a kid and I had to pick it up again. Then I found Tumba. The manual uh, is a little beat up, but it's still a good copy. It's got the inserts for the back and everything. Then we're moving right along to Rayman. And another classic, Resident Evil Director's Cut. Then we're gonna have Pong. Some Disney titles for you. A Bug's Life. Next is Tarzan. Following far along, Mike Tyson's Boxing. Then we have Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Next is Final Fantasy Origins. This has the one and two collectors set. Then we have A Good Fighter. King of Fighters 99. Now we're gonna go to all my Crash Bandicoot collection. First is Crash Bandicoot the original. Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped. We have Crash Team Racing. And we have Crash Bash. Another classic. They need to remake this one. Going now to a great arcade shooter, Time Crisis. This one I believe I found at a pawn shop. This is one of the jam packs, demo discs. It came with Gran Turismo 2, Um Jammer Lamy, Spyro 2, Tank, Tiny Tank, and Thrasher. I think, yeah, Thrasher, Skate or Die. It was so cool to have. I had to pick it up. I used to have all these demo discs that I had back in the day from like Pizza Hut, you know, all the magazines that I had. I used to subscribe to a lot of magazines, so. A lot of them either got damaged or I just lost them. I don't know what happened to them. So I, I'm trying to collect a little bit of any jab packs or anything like that. Next on the list is Tetris Plus. Now we have another good game. Jeremy McGrath Supercross 2000. And this one I picked up for Reggie Slots. Can't get enough gambling. Um, Not really played this much, so don't know if it's good or not. Then a good wrestling game, WWF Warzone, can I get a hell yes! Then we go to another classic that definitely needs to keep, I keep saying this, needs to be remade, remastered, Gex. Some great one-liners on this one. And moving on along, we have a killer Nickelodeon TV show, I don't know if anybody knows this one. It's Rocket Power, and I picked this up, I thought... You know, why not? It, it is a good snowboarding. It's like um, if you ever played Toy Story where the characters all just do like random stuff. Snowboarding, biking, different things like that. That's pretty much this game. Now we have a classic that never will go away. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Now we have a pool game. Jimmy White's Cue Ball 2. The next game on the list is Die Hard Trilogy. Um, I really haven't played this much, but I got it just for the fact that I like the movies. And I've seen a couple of friends play it, so I was like, why not? Pick this up. And the last game on the list is just a star car racing game. They did a collab together and thought I'd just get it. I mean, I like NASCAR racing. Left turn! But, uh, you know, when you find a cheap game, gotta pick it up. And, uh, Jewel Case is banged up, so I'll probably change that out eventually. But yeah, so that is my PS1 collection. I know it's small, but I got some good titles in there. What are some of your favorite PS1 titles and how big is your PS1 collection? That I'll ask in the comment section. So thank you for watching and I hope you keep on gaming everybody. Stay safe and I'll catch you next video. Bye everybody. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games too